Welcome to the GCN Tech Show. This week we have new bikes, the Bike Vault, your upgrades, and as always, our weekly talking point. Which is, should you buy a new bike or a used bike with better spec? Plus, the answer to the question we all want to know, where does Alberto Contador keep his sunglasses? What, what, where does he keep his sunglasses? We have to watch, find out. Let's go. Recently, we made a video about top tips for buying a used bike, and a few people commented underneath that, asking whether it would be better to buy a brand new bike or a used bike with a better spec for the same money. So, with that in mind, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And to make it a bit more concise, we're not gonna talk about uh, vintage bikes in this discussion. We're gonna talk about bikes that are typically one to five years old, bikes that have components and group sets on them that are either the current generation or the previous generation. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with a few examples. Here is a Canyon Ultimate CF SLX with mechanical Durace and Mavic Exalith Arsis wheels. This comes in at £2,399, which is actually pretty good, I would say. Yeah, well, that's currently on eBay. Mm. A significant saving for a bike that would have cost originally around £4,000 uh, were it new. So, yeah, pretty good. I mean, it's top spec bike, top spec frame. Yeah, but then if you went for a new Ultimate with a rim brake version and you went for um, uh, not mechanical, you went for electronic. Ultegra group set, which is slightly heavier. Uh, that comes in around 2,600, I would say. So, yeah. so actually, with the DT Swiss wheels. Yeah, those, so the DT Swiss wheels that the 2,600 pound one comes with, are, that's brand new, are slightly heavier than the Mavic mm. Arsis ones. But I'd still be inclined to go with it, I think, in that mm. example. And would you spend that one. extra bit of money then? I think for the fact that you're getting a new bike, I mean, that one there does appear to be in good condition, but mm. you're getting a new bike, and for me... I think I know what you're going to say. DI2 trumps mechanical yeah. Jura Ace, DI2 Ultegra even, so... I thought you'd say that, and to be honest, I couldn't agree with you more. I prefer electronic gear shifting, so... Let's have a look at another example. I'm going to hit you with this one. The Pinarello F10. Look at it. Yeah. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Yours new for around 10 grand. Yeah. But then again, I did do some shopping around and I found it for eight and a half, which I think is a bargain. Yeah, eight and a half grand bargain. <laughs> um, but I did some shopping around in the used market and I found one that's higher spec than, than the Jura Ace DI2 model that you saw for like 10 grand. This, this one has Campag Super Record, it's on eBay. Oh. And uh, also it has Campagnolo uh, Bora Ultra Wheels. So it's about as high spec as you can possibly get, you know, super mm. record. Um, How much is it? Still, eight grand. I mean, that one would have been more than 10 grand when it was originally yeah. for sale, more like 12. But um, still, eight grand is a lot. And I, I noticed this with quite a few of the Pinarellos. They tended to be still quite expensive in the, the, the used market. Mm. And I think it's a bit like cars. So certain models, and depreciate more than others, um, which is which is quite interesting. It's model dependent. So. I mean, that makes total sense, though. If you look at the car market, for example, McLarens, they're far more desirable and there's limited production runs, meaning they're going to hold their value. Well, no, McLarens often appreciate. Appreciate, sorry, yeah, they go up in value. Bizarre, but yeah. 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 And watches. Yeah, so. so I think in terms of when you're looking at specific used bikes, maybe target certain models, have a look, have a feel, do some research, and certain models you're gonna get a bigger saving on in the used market than others. Ollie, let's check out something else. This is the Orbea Avant, and you can get this new for £2,299. It comes with disc brakes and Shimano 105. Nice bike. But crucially, the cool thing for me, buying new, is that you can customize the paint job on the website, and then it comes through and it's pristine, new, and it's got that really cool, your paint job or whatever you come up with. I did mine for my Orbea, Orca Aero, and Matt Gray with popping orange decals. Yours is nice. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. And from the comments, everyone seems to like it too. No, it is, it is really nice. I think whereas here I did some looking online and I found uh, a 2017 
Orbea Orca. Uh, and this came, it was a rim brake bike, so slightly different spec, but mm. it was looking for something that was a bit of equivalent spec. So carbon frame there as well, 800, 900 quid. Oh, that's good. Shimano 105 on it. So it's a, you know, it's a that's, that's one where you're not getting a better spec, but you're just saving a load of money for something that's well, a very, very similar spec, really. And out of interest, how long did that take you to find on the net? Well, that was quite a quick search, yeah. but th this is the thing, you know, I think ultimately it comes down to what you can drop onto with a, used, yeah. with a used bike. And there are some amazing deals to be had and amazing sort of gems that you can find, but you're probably gonna have to spend a bit more time searching for them and waiting for the right one to come up. So, you know, if you want your bike straight away. Then, then get a new one. Yeah. That said, if you're not totally sure on what to look out for when buying a used or secondhand bike, then check out this video in the description below, which Ollie did about what to look out for when buying a secondhand bike, which is really good. It was really interesting. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think but people should also consider buying a new bike because, well, after all, it's new. You know that when you buy it, there's gonna be absolutely no wear and tear on any of the components or the frame, and it gives you greater peace of mind and greater confidence. And also, warranties are very valuable to have. You know, when you buy That's a new a bike, point. you have a warranty, and you know, sh should something ever go wrong with it, manufacturers are often very good at honoring those warranties. It's time now for hot tech. And first up, right, have you ever wondered where Alberto Contador keeps his sunglasses? Mm, yeah, mate, all the time. It actually keeps me up at night, all night. Well, fear not, oh. my friend, because Koo have made a video showing you the answer. Alberto Contador there using mm. a new product called the Koo Billy. And uh, I've got one here. It's a small little clip that attaches onto the front of your bike um, and you can use it to store your sunglasses and keep them out of the way. It keeps them safe and secure. And it's said to work with any sunglasses that have a frame. I have never thought of that. Yeah. You know, I put my helmet, my glasses in my helmet or on my jersey, never thought about putting my glasses on my bike. Uh, next up, we have some hot tech from Chiru Bikes. Chiru has teamed up with the luxury leather goods, uh, well, designer, Pinin and Pinin, uh, to come up with this bike, which is a celebration of the centenary of Bentley, the luxury car brand. Yeah, the bike is a city bike. It's fully titanium. And also, it comes with those beautiful leather bits on the top tube saddle, which actually looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah, the that, bar ingrid. Yeah, it looks amazing. It also is carbon belt driven, but this is not the only thing. It's, well, not a race bike, is it? But that's, it's not all about luxury either. No, well, it's got a Zehus uh, e-bike motor built in to the rear hub. This is a completely self-contained unit, very high tech. 250 watts of assistance, but get this right, it's got a Kurs sort of F1 style energy recovery system. So you don't have to recharge it. When you're braking, it recharges. Oh, I love a bit of tech like that. So cool, isn't it? To be honest, mate, I'm just thinking, I can see myself riding around the Royal Crescent with my hat on, with a pipe, and just enjoying life. Or maybe the Royal Kensington Gardens. To be fair, I can see you doing, doing that as well, I think. Yeah. We've also spotted a new bike in the World Tour. Uh, it had been ridden by the Mitchelton Scott team, and it was being ridden by Daryl Impe and Jack Haig at the Criterium de Dauphiné. Yeah, I did have my binos out, and I spotted it. Your what? Your binos? Your yeah, binoculars? My binoculars. I had binos. them out, and I spotted them in the, uh, in the World Tour peloton. And I have to say, the bike does look very like the old Scott Foil RC, but it features more climbing attributes compared to the normal aerodynamic frame. But it does look very similar, but I think it is just designed for climbing. I saw Yatesy on it. Is it yeah, I, th I think Yatesy is on it. Yeah, it, it's got sort of some aerodynamically optimized uh, tubes, sort of uh, flat back tube profiles, mm. and an aero cockpit from Scott's component manufacturer, Syncross. It's very similar to the one that we see on the foil. Yeah. But yeah, it's different. So it looks like a brand new Scott Addict with discs. I would like to wear it though, because it looks light. Mm. It does look really light. 
One interesting fact though, is that this particular model isn't actually on the UCI's approved frame and fork list, meaning we can't actually give all the specs and all the details just yet, but we will keep you updated when we get those details. Yeah, we can't even fully confirm its name yet, that it is the new Addict, but we believe it is. So, yeah. well, I guess you'd expect that we'll see Adam Yates riding it at the tour. Well, I hope so. I hope so, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled and my binos. That's not the only bike we spotted at the Dauphiné. So, uh, Chris and John previously spoke about the Cannondale Super 6 Evo, well, what we believe to be the new Super 6 Evo. It was spotted again at the Dauphiné, this time in team colours of EF Education first. And, well, I think launch imminent on that one, isn't Very it? Very imminent. Potentially before July, before yeah. the tour. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And rim and disc versions have been spotted as well. Yeah. Are they going to change the colour, put a bit of pink in there? That'd be cool we'll if they did. Wait and see, won't we? Yeah. It's now time for screw riding upgrades. By upgrades. Where you submit evidence of the upgrades that you've made to your bikes or equipment for a chance to win the ultimate prize, the GCN Camelback water bottle. Where is it? Thing. I don't know where it is right now. But it will be winging its way to you yeah. if you win. Right, first up this week, we've, we've got, got Jonathan from South Africa. Right. Are you going to do your accent? Shall I? Yeah, go on, give it a go. Okay. Jonathan received this bike for a free swap with a friend. He's unsure of the make or year, but it has Zeus dropouts. That's, that's all right, that one. That was good. That's quite good. Anyway, yeah, yeah. he sat around <laughs> for about a year before he decided to restore it so he could use it at varsity. Um, most of the bike is in decent condition, but it was dirty and rusty. That was that one. I mean, that was very good. cleaning every part with a toothbrush. I've just seen. Yeah, bloody hell. I hope he's not using that on his teeth. He's then, well. uh, yeah, he's, he's resprayed it uh, in fire engine red. Oh. And he's also replaced the cables, bar tape, and tyres. And then rediscovered or recovered an old seat in denim. Oh, I want to see it. Go on, show let's me. Let's have it. a look. Yeah, let's have a look. So that's what it was like. Oh. And then he's restored it with his denim saddle. Oh. Nass. That's nice, that is, bro. That is nice. I like it. I like the fire engine red. He's also, if you look closely, he's put a cork in the bar end. Mm. Like, can you see that? It's like a champagne cork. Yeah. That's a cool bar How end. How cool is that? That is. That is very nice. It's vintage. Nice. Vintage right. bike and vintage cork. So, like who's Jonathan up against this week, eh? He's up against Mike in the Cannondale Synapse frame and forks, bought from eBay. A couple of years ago, Mike bought a two Where's he from, though? He's from Bromley in Kent in the UK. A couple of years ago, Mike bought a 2011 aluminium Candel Synapse with carbon fork from eBay for £90. He built it up. Man. Yeah, it is, isn't it? With spare bits to make a winter hack bike. The top tube had a dent in it, so and there were also some, some scratches. He actually really liked riding the bike, so after seeing your budget bike to superbike video, he decided to give it some TLC. First, he stripped the paint, filled in the dent, resprayed it with a spray, bike paint, and built up the bike one by, and then cobbled together some parts from eBay and bought a few bits here and there, and then put it on a Vittoria Corsa Control G Plus 28mm tyres. Nice. And bling, oh. KMC gold chain. Everyone like loves that. a gold chain. And the end result? He loves it. Is this. Wow, so that's the no, original. That's the original. A proper laid back position. Yeah. You know, like it. He's done this oh, he's, frame. He's, that. Oh, oh blooming heck. He's gone all camo on me. Oh, that looks like... Wowzers. I like the look of that. What a paint job. That gold chain and the black cassette you know what, as well. That, that's just giving me ideas for my next bike. Yeah. Oh, His stems oh, top, stopped that. taking Viagra as well, which is good to see. I know what... To be honest, mate, I know what I'm going to go for. I'm just putting it out there. Do you know who you're going to go for? It's not up to Why us. Why it's not up to us, is it? Yeah. It's not up to us. Who's you, up to? You decide. So, oh, mate. I'm gonna let you, it's a big responsibility. It is. And you do it, you. I'm ready. Okay. It's like, it's like I the Thor, the, the hammer of Thor, isn't I it? I believe in you, man. I've got the tech show <laughs> bell. Come on, so, hit me with it. First up, we've got Bauer. I wonder if it's Jack Bauer. He's, well, there. there's his bike. Have a look at that. What is it? I can't even see, I need to zoom in. It's a well, it looks GM nice from Major. Here. Yes. Oh, in titanium. With Tegra, a yeah, titanium frame. Nice cranks, right angle. Carbon forks, is it? Uh, well, maybe not. Yes, yes, carbon fork, titanium frame. It's all going on there. 
That looks beautiful. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. That was good. That was. I liked the energy, but we need to agree first. No, Next that time. was a super nice. It is. Jim. It is. But just okay. Hold it back. No one. Right. No right. like, it's a bit premature, wasn't it? <laughs> Next up, what do we got? All right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You've got a hard one for me to read. Uh, from Andrew. And Very hard <laughs> to read. <laughs> can you say? Can you say that bike? <laughs> from the Philippines. <laughs> um, uh, is Banzai 29er? Is a bulla Bulacan, Bulacan in the Philippines? I've never been there, but it sounds like an epic place in the Caribbean, so I definitely want to go there. Since you guys mentioned the bike submission can be anything, even a painting, here's one that's actually just a figment of my imagination. A 3D model whoa, of my whoa, dream whoa, whoa. bike. How sick! I actually saw this. Hang on a minute. We and can't I, have, we can't have like, we, well, we can't, we, hang on, hang on. I mean that's- I put that in. You can't have like a, a th it's got to be an actual bike for the bike vault. But that it looks can't be so, like a, a hypothetical look, bike. But that looks so realistic. Don't you think that like design of the of the curved uh, like seat post angle? Right. It just looks cool. Nice. It's a nice. Okay. Don't ring the bell. Okay. It's a nice. Next up, Nate. <laughs> I put Next that in. Up, that was my favourite one. <laughs> just saying. Next up, we've got Nathan with his X Works, well, his S Works Tarmac Tinkoff edition, oh. and he's in uh, Massachusetts, and he says he's America. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Chris King hubs as well. Oh, I like that. I personally would have gone for some deep wheels, but I just, I just quite like the look of having a deep set of wheels. But he has matched up the valve extenders perfectly, in the perfect position. And he's got some red hubs. I mean, that's, he's, he's, he's cleaned it, it's all good. It's all set up perfectly for the photo. I can't, I can't fault it. I can't fault it, it is nice. And I, I do like that paint job with the- Yeah, the Blythe had that Yeah, job, it just, it? it does look cool and it stands out. Uh, do I get to, do I, do I, do I get a ring about? Yeah, I'm knocking off do I get to ring the bell? Yeah. Do I... Before you do, I'm just gonna I'm gonna give a warning. Go on. The front tire is not on straight. It's not lined up with the valve. If you oh. look at the logo, but I'm willing to overlook oh, no, it. He because has done of, it on the rear wheel. Because he's done it on the rear wheel. Yeah. No, oh, so you're gonna willing, say that. I'm willing to overlook it in this. So case. Super nice. Half ring. Super nice. There we go. There we go. Um, next up, we've got oh uh, my Ro mate Jordan. Jordan from Doncaster. From Donny. From Donny. Yeah. It's Cervelo R5 with a custom paint job, SRAM Red ETAP and the DT Swiss wheels. Come on, look at that. It's good, that, isn't it? No, yeah. that is, to be fair, that is sweet. And I do yeah. love the DT Swiss rims. Uh, he's got a quark power meter. He's got everything there, isn't he? Yeah. And he, look, look at that, he slammed it and put an extra long stem on, 130 stem, I think that looks like. And he's matched up the valves as well. It's that, in big, small. Mate, yeah, he can't fight. I mean, that's just. Textbook. I would ride that. Do you know what? Tech, anyone watching who, who's thinking about how to get in the bike vault, textbook, That's it. textbook and bike vault. Gold as well. And it's so textbook. clean. I can't see a speck of mud on that. That's amazing. And next up, we've got Don. Um, Where's Don from? He's from, uh, he's from Western France. Where? How do, I can't. I'm, 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 I, I was trying to catch you out all day. I'm always the one I think it's bad non, on pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, that's. Is that right? Yeah, I'm not going to be fans? bad. I'm just going to put that out there. Okay, so he has got his uh, chest ball, yeah. which is an aluminium frame, carbon fork, Chinelli headset, oh, like Mavic Chinelli Eclipse headsets. wheels, Mish Primato cranks, 49-16 ratio oh, on the gears, fixed gear. Oh, Man, I, I like that. I like got, the wall. I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm <laughs> no, just I do like. I'm just gonna have well. to say though. I'm gonna have to to take off a mark. Why? I'm gonna have to take off a mark. I can't have a bottle on the seat post. For me, that is that. That just says triathlon for me. Yeah. You know, it says Iron you know. Man. It doesn't say fixie. It says Iron Man. Yeah, and you are the you're the authority on on fixed gear bikes. <laughs> Why? Because because it doesn't have any brakes, like, and I don't brake. <laughs> but oh, yeah. this one does have brakes. I know, but, but I don't use brakes. You're the you're, yeah, yeah, you're the red hook man. Um, 
I mean, I, I really like it. I think it's nice. What are you saying? I think you're leaning I, towards I, nice. I, no, I, I, I like it, but I don't love it. So it's a nice then. So it's a nice. It's a yeah. nice. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to ring that bad boy. Right, well, it, was, it was a shame we ended on a. A nice. a nice, but we had some super nice, didn't we? I got to ring the bell. Don't forget, if you want to get involved on next week's show and get your bike in the bike vault, then use the uploader tool, which is in the description below. And that's it for this week's GCN Tech Show, and I genuinely really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too, man. Mm. But we've got loads of cool stuff coming up over the channel. Yeah, on Saturday, we've got uh, Nibley's Pro Bike that I was able to get my hands on over at the Giro. Yeah, oh, on Sunday, John's done a really cool video on a bike that like revolutionized cycling and changed the face of bike tech forever. So that's gonna be really cool. I'm not gonna spoil it by telling you what it is. You'll have to tune in, but it's really cool. Yeah, so stay tuned on the channel. Yeah, and on Monday, or well, Monday as well, we've got first look at a brand new bike that's just come out. I can't tell you what it is yet either. And uh, also part two of how to make a fixie. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that one. I, yeah. need, I need a fixie. Don't forget, if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but then I got to, no one can give a big thumbs up, so I actually just give a normal <laughs> thumbs up. And let us know what you think of this video in the comment section below. Yeah, and to watch a video on, well, how to, how to buy a, a used bike, top tips, then click down here. <laughs>